Now, Ben is part of the Urban Youth Crew. Now, he danced at the beginning of the show. Now, he's back with us to have a bit of a chat. Ben, welcome to the couch. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks, thanks for coming in today. Yep. Now, we saw you at the beginning of the show dancing for us, but there's a bit more about Ben that we'd like people to know. Sure. Now, Ben has been living in Australia for two years on a working a holiday visa. It's like a, a working and a holiday visa mixed in together. He's been here for two years, but he'd like to make it more permanent. So, Ben asked if we would be able to maybe promote his cause and find out how we can help him here in Australia, stay in Australia for a bit longer. So tell us your background, Ben. When did you come to Australia? So I came in Australia two years ago. From France? From France. Okay. Because I'm French, obviously. Yep. Um, and yes, so I came with my brother just for travelling and then have this experience of learning the, the language because I couldn't speak English, okay. obviously, before. And I, I've been travelling, working a lot, and then since last year I've met Urban Youth Group and I've been performing over 100 times now, teaching the kids. So, and, yeah. you weren't with Ur Urban Youth Crew before you came to Australia. Basically, you came here for a working holiday. Yes. You ran into Urban Youth Crew, which yes. is an amazing uh, talent agency, mm -hmm. and you decided to work with them or do a whole heap of work with their shows, etc. Yeah. What sort of stuff do you do with them? Uh, so I teach communities throughout WA. I teach uh, over 500 kids a week now. Now, you're only 22. Yes. So you're, you're teaching young people. Yes. What sort of stuff do you teach them? So we teach tricks like you've seen on the, on the video. Yeah. Uh, we teach dancing and, um, yeah, like stretching a lot, warms up. Warm so up. what makes Ben, what makes you, I can see you on screen right now, I see the work that you do. That's actually me as a double for you, I think, Ben. <laughs> uh, there you are. There. When you see yourself, what, do, do you think you're pretty talented? Do you uh, think you're good? I think, yes, I think so. So <laughs> when you're appealing to the Australian government and the Australians, why should we let Ben stay in Australia? Why uh, do we need you? Because, uh, like, Nell Hokianga, my boss, said they can't find any other b-boy like me in Australia. It's pretty hard to find it. And then so she found me. She tried to advert for other b-boys and everything that she, she so couldn't she's find. Advertised yeah, she advertised and not been able to find for... someone as good as you. Yes. What, what are your skills? What, why do you reckon you're so good? What is it about you that, that uh, we need to keep in Australia? <laughs> I don't think I'm so good. 
But uh, I think... Oh, I could buy. Thanks for coming to Australia. <laughs> no, there's got to be something about you. You've got skills and, yes. you, and you, you know you're good at what you do. Yes. But I want you to tell the Australian people why you're so good. What is it about you that we need to promote here? I think Australia needs me because I'm, I'm loving what I do. I love teaching kids. I love like meeting indigenous and non-indigenous kids and children. Did you know much about indigenous youth no, before you came to Australia? No. The only word I knew was Aboriginal, and I yeah. didn't know what it was. And how's at all. it been for you trying to uh, teach Indigenous youth to dance? Has it been a bit of a struggle? Has it been fun, exciting? It has been really fun for me, and he's still really fun for me. Like my my best friend now is Aboriginal, he's an Noongar man, and um, I love it. Like so, we're talking about a French man that came over here yeah. for a holiday, yeah. who started with you know the crew. And now you're teaching indigenous kids how to dance and perform. Yes. You're, you're br building bridges between different communities. Yes, exactly. What can we do to help you, Ben? What do we need to do? What, what are we looking for? I think uh, I need as, many, as much support as I can from like TV, from like people and like references and everything. So if we get you to perform on our show every week, <laughs> would that pretty much satisfy you to be here? Uh, probably because they they looking for because I'm gonna apply for a visa now. Yes. Which is a uh, entertainment visa. Yep. And they uh, they looking for like performers, uh, performing for TV show, and, like massive performance. So we need to get you a whole heap of work to say that this is why yes, we need you in Australia. Exactly. You want to get yourself an entertainment visa that could give you another two years in the country. Yes. And then from there you can apply for maybe permanent citizenship. Yes. That that's that's my that's my goal. Right. Yeah. Well. Give out your website, because I'll give out ours in a sec, but if you can look into this camera here, Sonia, and tell them the, the website. All right, my website is uh, benjamindefoy.com, not .au, but .com. And uh, people can contact Ben, and Ben would love to have Office of Work, say if you're a school, if you're an entertainment company, if you're a theatre, if you're a dance uh, group, anybody, anywhere in Australia and New Zealand, but he wants to stay here in Australia, but if you've got some work for him or you need someone like Ben, He's an amazing dancer. You would have seen him at the beginning of the show. And check out our website if, uh, if you missed it. And uh, I'm sure we'll be able to help you stay in the country. Thank you very Thank much. you very much, Ben. Thanks no for being worries. on the couch. And good luck. And we'll have you back on again. No worries. Thank I you very we'll much. I think we'll just have Ben back every week until um, it's time for him not to go.